In today's video, we're going to rank the best cards in my team that you can get for under 100k MT in the auction house. If you could, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's get started. We've got over 60 cards to go over. I'm not going to go in depth on any of these cards. I've played with every single one of them, so this ought to be easy, right? Just go ahead and rank them as how they played in the game. Uh, I will take into account value because, well, if you're watching this video and are wondering what cards that you can get for under a 100 KMT, you are probably on some type of budget. You may not be a complete budget baller with rubies and amethysts and a bunch of, you know, 1,000 to 10,000 MT cards, but making investments in some of these higher car priced cards that are hitting the 100K MT by now filters, uh, like T-Mac and Magic, Anthony Davis, some of the others, is an investment and you also can lose on them as the year moves on and card prices continue to diminish. So with that being said, we will take into account value. I'm not going to make it that big of a deal because we're talking about 100K MT here. You could seriously play two hours of triple threat for the next five days this week and have enough to buy any card on this list. That being said, let's get started with our first card here and that is the Diamond Lamar Odom. And Diamond Lamar Odom is one of those cards that lasts forever. It's kind of like the Diamond Danny Granger we got last fall uh, in 2K19. Diamond Lamar Odom, uh, the reason why is, is that he, he has pretty much is one of those nerf stat cards that's been coming out here since like the All-Star break where they just have a few nerf stats and everything else is OP. But he also has every badge pretty much that he would need, at least on gold already. When we get an Opal of this card, he will be a top two, top three card in the game. Um, this card, you know, it's becoming a little outdated because gold badges, you know, a lot of people are getting badges that he has on Hall of Fame. You know, he's got 45, 50 badges total, but only like 10 Hall of Fame badges. He's still a very elite card. He creates so much base dribbling, has an easy release to green off the dribble and can finish at the rim and play uh, in the post inside on offense and defense. Next up we have, and he's A tier, uh, Diamond Ben Simmons and look, I'm putting this down here on D tier and here's why. Guys, if you want a Ben Simmons card, you have a free one. Everybody got the card, you can't sell it in the auction house. He, he does, even though there are position locks this year, all you have to do is, is set up your plays or just just call for Ben to come get the inbounds. He will come get it most of the time anyway at that position. And he's going to have an easier chance of blowing by um, a big man at the four or someone without clamps at the four because there are still some of those people. Then he is congested at the point guard. Uh, I get killed by the reward Ben Simmons way more than this one. Maybe because more people use that one. But this point guard Ben Simmons, he can't shoot either. So there's no reason to go get this card. Um, it, just use the other card and if you want him to guard your other team's point guard then run you know all big cards and switch him onto the point guard so he can guard the point guard uh, but there's no reason to go get this card uh, it, it, he's becoming worse and worse by the minute and it's more and more car it becomes more and more OP shooting from deep and releases and animations then hey guess what he's gonna just get even worse there's better Ben Simmons's and you know we probably at some point will even get a pink down with Ben Simmons who don't have one of those just, for, just because they like doing that kind of shit. So yeah, I would not go get that card. Next up we have uh, Pink Diamond T Mac, and he, even though you know he is just now becoming a buy now, and his price is probably going to go down, and there's a diamond out there. T Mac is the elite of the elite every year, and this year. Uh, even more so fact is that, dude, with the Pro 3 Hezzy being able to cancel out of it and just green with ease, he's also, you know, a big, big six foot eight shooting guard. He feels more like 6'9". Uh, and, you know, he can get rebounds. He can defend the rim, even though his, you know, ratings aren't that case. Animations are so much more important, and I feel like he's a really good card. Next up, we have the uh, Pink Diamond Magic Johnson. He's going on B tier, and... Uh, Simply because he can't shoot. Um, he's one of, he, obviously one of the best dribblers and playmakers in the game. He can finish at the rim. He can play great defense. Um, but, you know, Isaac Bonga Amethyst is better than this card. And it's simply because this card is very one-dimensional. And as more and more people start to get these OP big point guards, like, dude, I, I couldn't believe how easily I was able to handle this Diamond Magic Johnson, or Pink Diamond Magic Johnson with um, the Amethyst. Isaac Bonga. Next up, we have Pink Diamond Anthony Davis. 
And he's A tier, you know, he's pretty good. He has Limitless, which is nice, but man, his release feels a little bit slow this year. He's a great defender and rebounder on defense. He, he moves good without the ball, but with the ball, even the Opal just doesn't feel that. He feels slow, slow as hell. I mean, like, dude, you go dribble with, I mean, I know Thought Maker's a glitch, but you go move around with Thoughtmaker. Even the prime Kevin Garnett and the Opal AD feels slow to me. Uh, he's A tier, though, just because, dude, there, there's just a lack of um, elite bigs in this 100K MT and under. Um, all of the bigs that they have that have released that can, uh, you know, shoot, play defense, dribble, do all that stuff are Opals, and they cost more than 100K MT. So, you know, picking up this card for... You know, 70, 80 KMT, 60, whatever he goes for, you know, during a market crash is pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, next up, we have Pink Diamond Shaq, and uh, he, he can't shoot either. And, uh, you know, one of the baddest dudes on the planet ever to play. If you are a post player, he's probably S tier for you. But if you are just, you know, a traditional player or you're a guy that runs like five out or something, dude, this Shaq is not the card for you. Um, he, he just, yeah, he's just not because he just, he's very one dimensional. The Opal Shack, uh, S tier on anything, I'm sure, but like this Shack here, uh, you know, he's there, there's an amethyst that you can get, but he, he's also like he, San Diego Davis is probably better than this Shack uh, in situations. If you are a drop stepper, if you are a guy that likes to back down people and you standing dunks, which I, if you are, you're rare because people talk about it all the time. And I, I, I never actually see it happening in unlimited. You know, you know, once out of every 15 or 20 games, you know, I run into a dude that's, you know, working me in the post and uh, has a card like this Shack or, you know, something else, and that's great. But uh, yeah, no, that's pretty rare. Next up, we have this Pink Diamond Clay Thompson, and uh, dude, uh, he. Look, he, he, he's, he does what he does. Um, he doesn't dunk, which sucks. But, like, dude, like, you don't need every car to do everything on the floor. And he's an elite shooter. And he's elite on defense, man. And he's a pretty good rebounder, too, man. Like, um, I, I mean, dude, this card has helped my opponents come back and win so many games in the past month or two that he's been out. And, uh, you know, he, he hits contested shots better than anybody else or, or at the top, you know, up there with like Steph Curry and James Harden. So, yeah, dude, you just can't you can't find a better, uh, you know, guy if you just want a guy, a cone, as DBG would call it, a three and D cone to stand in the corner or on the wing and just pop threes or at the top of key and shoot from limitless. Dude, Clay Thompson is your man. Next up, we have this diamond Paul Pierce. And uh, I really like this card, man. It, it dribbles good. He's got like pro five hezzy. Um, he can go to the rim. He can shoot from limitless. Even though he has a steady shooter, his release is so good you don't feel it. Uh, got, yeah, like I said, he's got a good dribble move. So, like, dude, dude, he's a good card. Like, he's a very good small forward to use in this game. At power forward, um, I don't think height is, is mainly, mainly the issue, but he, he feels like a smaller 6'8 build to me. Um, and he's just really good power or small forward just stuck in the corner and just splash with him. And, and he will hit those shots. Uh, next up, we have Pink Diamond Rudy Gay. And dude, there's not much difference in these in these three power forward, small forward, small forward, power forward cards. Um, Rudy Gay, dude, is just so many badges of his are on gold. It's kind of like Lamar Odom. He is quickly fading into the distance of being a top tier card, man. When he came out, he was amazing. He still is. He has a great release. He can finish at the rim. He can rebound and play interior defense. And, and that's why he's on A tier. But you, to be S tier, dude, you got to be like... T-Mac or like elite level Clay Thompson where like you know if you pass him the ball or your opponent pass him the ball, fix it knock that shit down if you give him any space. And, and Rudy, you know, he can hit like that, but like uh, he, he, he just, yeah, he, he feels like he's just missing something. And it's probably because we'll probably get an open of him uh, for too much longer. But anyway, next up we have Miles Bridges and dude, one of the uh, undersized for sure. But one of the best in-game dunkers and shooters in the game. He gets so hot with this card. Uh, he rebounds amazing for his size and plays great interior defense. He has both move lockdown, which a lot of cards, you know, they're absent-minded of power forward does, don't have that badge or or missing other pertinent badges. He does only have gold defensive badges, uh, but like for his price, you know, like 10 to 12 KMT versus Rudy Gay, dude. I mean, like, dude. You, you're not giving up anything by by using either one of those different cards. Next up, we have Bam Adebayo, and uh, dude, I think he's a better Anthony Davis. He's a better dribbler. He's a better shooter. Uh, defense and 
rebounding, uh, but he has long arms, like dude, and and his his playmaking compared to this Anthony Davis is is just uh, a step ahead of the game. And uh, yeah, dude, I mean, like I, I've had great, you know, cooked people with him, been cooked by him. So I know, yeah, he's a good card. I played in a tournament, in a comp tournament, and uh, dude, freaking dominated, dominated me with his Bam out of Bam, and I actually had Bam out of Bam. Uh, so there are, uh, yeah, there are elite level users of Bam out of Bam, and he's not too expensive. He's like usually like 40 to 50k or something, maybe even cheaper than that now. Next up, we have Pink Diamond Buddy Healed, and uh, man, this car could run the point guard. I would put him up there. Um, on the top tier. Um, there's just so many guys like this though now that um, I mean he, he that are taller than him but he, dude he dunks man he dunks and people that are good with him they are really good like they, they, a lot of times people just be blowing me up with this dude out of nowhere and uh, it's because basically his uh, you know release is, is super quick but if you know if you get the timing down on it if you use him all the time you're gonna be good with him Next up, we have uh, Pink Diamond Aaron Gordon, and like he, he doesn't have any rebounding badges. He doesn't have any post defensive badges. Uh, he has base one Hezzy, uh, which I know there are plenty of other dribble moves they use to get open. I've been learning a lot of them actually. I didn't know that for a while, but uh, kind of sounds stupid probably talking shit about dribbling. But yeah, uh, Aaron Gordon. Eh, He's a spot-up shooter, and he's supposed to be slam dunk contest champion. That's how I feel about this card. Like I feel like, I feel like he's just better spotting up shooting threes than he is going to the rim. Obviously, you can get some nasty dunks with him if you do get space to go to the rim. But creating that space, you know, in my team unlimited is not easy. Next up, we have uh, Pink Diamond Chris Paul, and I like this card, man. I mean, he would have been S tier for me not too long ago, but there's just. Like I said, there's too many other options. Um, elite playmaker, elite off the catch, elite mid-range shooter. He, dude, he, he can create space and go to the rim and, you know, has the badges to finish at the rim. He can dunk for this card anyway. 77 dunk for a six-foot guy's not bad. Um, but yeah, he's, he's super good. Next up, we have Pink Diamond, Pete Maravich, and I put him up on A tier, man. Like he is, a, I mean, he's Clay Thompson or better at shooting, but, I mean, Chris Paul's just as good at shooting, too. There are a lot of good shooters in this game. And Pete Maravich, his defense is not good. It doesn't matter if he has Hall of Fame clamps. Bro, look, he don't play very good defense. And even though he's 6'5", he doesn't guard. Like, Chris Paul will guard uh, Giannis or Blake or Magic or any of those Opals better than Pete Maravich ever would think about doing. So, yeah, that's why I got him there. Next up is this Pink Diamond De'Aaron Fox. And... Dude, I just, like, I, I, this is the card I've used the least out of all of them. I think I've played, like, two games with him. You know, shot around a freestyle for a while. Um, played a game or two of Triple Threat, and that was pretty much it. Um, and I haven't had this card back since. I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to think about this card. Um, you know, I've, I've seen people do really good with it. Um, I don't know. I just, I, he, he's... It maybe it's his animations, but I don't know. It just like the left-handed with that, you know, that Giannis or not Giannis, the LeBron type behind the back. Just it doesn't fit my eye. I don't know. Next up we have um, Andre Iguodala, and Andre Iguodala is great, man. Uh, I don't think he's undersized. I think he's fine. You can play him at the four if you want, uh, but I think he'd be better suited as a shooting guard, small forward, um, just because like, dude, he is kind of small. And, uh, man, he doesn't have Hall of Fame Limitless, so, like, dude, like, you know, his release for me is not the greatest, but his defense is so good, man. He's so good on defense, and, and dude, I, I don't know. I don't know how you could say that is not on A tier up here. Dude, I gotta put Iguodala up there on A tier, man. Like, uh, he, he's just that good, man. I, I think he's, like, equivalent to some of these dudes right here uh but let's see that they're, they're shooting guards like pete maravich shooting, is really a shooting guard uh buddy hill is really a shooting guard uh miles bridges really a shooting guard like so i mean he's he's all pretty much the same there i'm probably gonna have to move some of these cards down but christian leitner uh, 
I put him up here in the S tier, man, and dude, he could just do everything. And he's if he had the, if he had freaking a little bit better ball control, I mean, he might be S tier for the game. But like for 25 to 30 KMT, you get Hall of Fame Limitless, you get a great release. He is one of the best po offensive post games, and then he does everything you know well on defense. Uh, he's great to run at the four because uh, he's not that slow. And, uh, and dude, yeah, he sets up from limitless trail cheese with him, man. Yeah, I mean, he's dude, he is so good, and, and he's better than Pink Diamond Anthony Davis. I mean, come on, bro, you pay seventy or eighty k versus thirty k for a card that's better. Yet. Don't be stupid. Next up, we have this Pink. Oh shit! What do I do? Pink Diamond Ralph Sampson, and elite in the post on offense. Uh, I don't really like his release, so I can say he can shoot threes with a 70-something three ball. He's slow as hell, though, man. He's gonna get, he ain't gonna get burnt. He's, he's a good, like, character, though. Uh, you know, playing a slow-paced game, dude. He's so good uh, at that. But, like, dude, he's just kind of averaged everything else. And there is a giant center or two that are better than him that can move around. And one of them, uh, he's not really a giant, but one of the centers that I think is elite at this level is Greg Oden and his strength, his post game, his dunking, his shooting is actually really good. Uh, he steps on the line and hits mid ranges like Green's mid range like crazy. Sometimes they were bricking the threes, but uh, snatch blocks like you know he's got 84 something speed with the coach, 88 with a shoe, 91 speed like yeah dude he gets up there in the freaking elite level speed of centers and with the strength to go along with it dude you you, you, can, you can protect the paint with this card for sure. Next up, we have this Pink Diamond Alonzo Mourning. And, and such a liability on offense. Such a great defender, but but only 6'10". Um, it just kind of leaves him there. But he, he's fast. He's fast as hell. Like, dude, you, you, I mean, you can seriously switch him and Anthony Davis out. Uh, but I know everybody loves freaking sucking the teat of Anthony Davis, so we're not going to go there. Next up is the Pink Diamond Manu Bowl. And, dude, fuck this card, man. He, <laughs> man, I, 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 like... You know, I've, I've had some games where I've, I've beat him a few times, you know, but a lot of times, man, it's like all of a sudden, man, it's like this guy just comes out of nowhere. He grabs every offensive reboard, rebound. He grabs every defensive rebound. He, you know, contests shots out of nowhere. He's a glitch dunking because he doesn't, like, leave the ground. So he just, like, force fields himself, like, is a magnet to the rim. Uh, yeah, dude, it's way too OP, um, and he has limitless range, so, dude, if you do, you know, if you do know how to get open with your centers out there, if you're, like, skilled at running pick and roll, because this is a lot more skillful art this year than it ever was last year. Last year, you could just fucking, you know, call for the pick, and you get a wide open freaking three with your center. It is not that case anymore. Next up is Amethyst Isaac Bonga. Uh, dude, like I said earlier, he's better than Magic. He's better than that Magic, like... I mean, he's basically him with a freaking 93 ball limitless range, at better dunk package, um, and, you know, elite. He's just good on defense, not better. Uh, yeah, that's where we're going with that card. Um, next up, we have Pink Diamond, Brandon Roy. And dude, it's, it's the same card as T-Mac, man. You got to put him up here. Um, easiest, you know, shots to cancel out of in the game. Uh, you know, some people like the... D Wade so they can peekaboo, but I like canceling out of the Hezzy. Just flicking the right stick to the right and then just hitting next immediately. And dude, it's the quickest sh shot. Easy, big green windows on them. Uh, yeah, easy shit there. Brennan Roy is, is, is an elite card for sure. Uh, Dino Raja, uh, yeah, dude. One of the best dunkers in the game. In game, especially. <laughs> Triple threat, amazing. Uh, he shoots threes well, even though he has a 79 three ball. Um, he's one of the best big man dribblers in the game, and uh, yeah, definitely S tier for him. He's only like 40 KMT, dude. You got you got to get him. Like 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 he he's the best of the best here, and like you know he he's one of those guys that he, he jumps high enough up for the rebounds that he actually gets some rebounds on the new ball. Next up, Sharif Abdurrahim, and uh, eh, I, I I would like him more. I'm gonna put Lamar Odom down here on B tier, bro. Uh, is bugging me. Um, he just that you know I just see Sharif Abdurrahim is like eight to twelve KMT most days. Some days six KMT, and and besides not being able to flashy dunk as well as Lamar Odom, he basically can do everything else just as good if not better. And yeah, I mean that, that 
I mean, elite elite defense, too. I mean, just like, yeah, dude, this is the money. Michael Red, dude, he, he might actually be better than uh, T-Mac or Brandon Roy. And, look, for the price, dude, like, this is why I hate having this T-Mac up here. Is because, like, I, I think Michael Red might be just as good. Uh, but, you know, for the sake, him, Brandon Roy, and T-Mac, they're elite at the, at the two on this level. And that's a fact. Uh, next up, we have the Pink Diamond Ben Wallace. And Pink Diamond Ben Wallace, go up here in A tier. Um, he's good, man. He's good. Like, I'm running him at the four, running him at the three. It doesn't really matter. He, he's an elite defender. Play, you know, perimeter and inside D. He could shoot threes from Limitless, which is nice. Now, his release is really good. And he has, like, Tyler Hero dribble sticks. Like, so, <laughs> he's a lead dribbler as well, which is crazy. Um... Uh, he doesn't have handles for days though, so he won't. He's not gonna last long dribbling. Next up, we have Andrew Wiggins, and if he had didn't have normal two freaking Kawhi Leonard signature Hezzy, then he would be the best shooting guard on this list. But instead, he does, and he's down here, dude. He it, it, it prohibits him from going to being able to create his own space to go to the rim. So unless you are getting a ton of fast breaks, then it makes it harder to dunk and game with him. Or you know, if you're good at rim running, then I guess he could be better. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna have to move some people down. Desmond Mason, dude, he has freaking J.R. Smith, Clyde Drexler behind the back. Eddie Jones, uh, he's not a point guard. I don't think he ever was. Um, that should be a glitch card, but it's not. Um, if you like J.R. Smith's release, you'll like this card. If you like shooting off screens with the point guard, then there you go. That this guy would be good at it, but like if dribbling, you know, his dribbling is, uh, about on the level of Andrew Wiggins, and uh, well, Wiggins is a six-eight shooting guard, and he's a six-five point guard. Uh, but Wiggins, he doesn't have as bad as behind. the behind the back dude of this card is just atrocious. Uh, but he is a good shooter and a good dunker, so you got that. Next up, we have this uh, Galaxy Opal Draymond Green, and God dang man, as much as I, I mean. I'm gonna put him on A tier for this list, and and here's why, man. I've been playing with this card a lot, a lot, and I like to score with my point guard. Like I like I like to score with my point guard. Uh, I can score Chris Paul. I can score Pete Maravich. Uh, I mean, I could probably score with Magic. Maybe even score with his Magic better. I might even be able to score with his no dribble move, Desmond Mason. But dude, Draymond is he, he, dude. His tendencies. He, they're set. They're set up. 92 off screen versus a 25 spot up. Uh, three tendency. It, he's he's meant to hit closeout jumpers. He has a like a 75 or 80 contested jumper three tendency. Uh, he has a 10 alley oop pass tendency with Hall of Fame Lob City passer, which doesn't even freaking make sense, bro. He does have good defensive tendencies and stats and badges are insane. But this card was meant to play power forward. Um, what I suggest you doing if you buy this card, and I'm not putting him up here because, like, dude, I, I just, like, I mean, Bonga is, like, 10 to 15K versus 100K, and they, they basically are going to do the same thing. So, uh, Draymond's going to be better on defense, obviously, but he's going to feel slower. He does feel slower, and he doesn't have quite as good dribble moves as Bonga does, um, but he does have Hall of Fame range extender. But, like, creating space with Draymond Green... This is a lot harder than Isaac Bonga, even though their speeds are the same. Like Draymond's slower, I, I swear to God. Um, if you, I mean, and, and on defense, dude, if you off ball, like yeah, you're probably the best damn point guard out there. But what I would suggest doing is, is running someone at the two that you can dribble with, run the offense through, run your freelance, and have Draymond coming off screens at the four or sitting up at the top of the key, pe poking it from limitless. I think he, I think he'd be better at that, and then just have him guarding the point guard. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a good that's a good way to do it. But is that worth 100 KMT if you have to go through all the trouble to do all that? Probably not, because it can get confusing when they realize what you're doing and start switching matchups and shit. Next up is this Dennis Rodman. Oh god, dang it, where'd he go? It's like he disappeared. Oh, there he is. Um, yeah, Dennis Rodman wrote. He's good. He's a good rebounder, and dude, this guy get clamped. This guy will get clamped. 
Yeah, that that guy right there never get the ball. <laughs> uh, and and that's why I'm gonna move Clay Thompson down one. Damn man, cause I gotta move him down because he, yeah, he, he if if you got this Dennis Rodman, Clay Thompson is stuck. If you got Tracy McGrady, and you are a very good dribbler, then you might have a chance against this Dennis Rodman. Or if you have, you know, same with Brandon Roy or Michael Red. But dude, Clay Thompson, he ain't got very good dribble moves. You stuck, dude. Dennis Rodman's defense is 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 just something else, man. It's the best defensive card I played with. They also like he's fast now, so he actually gets goes after rebounds. His release is slow as hell and sucks. But if you have, I mean, if you have time to shoot with him, he will green it. Um, and then he's good at going to the rim. His dribble moves aren't that good, but he's good enough to, you know, if well, he, he can dunk. He's got a decent dunk package. Let's just say that. Um, but his defense is, yeah, it's up there, bro. It is up there. Next up, we have the Pink Diamond Lou Aldang, dude. And, like, dude, for 15 to 20 KMT, why not, bro? Get you a Dennis Rodman and a Lou Aldang and just shut down any of these weapons you see up here on offense and you got Draymond Green guarding the point you probably don't want to do that though because then you have no one to dribble the ball at the court Luau Deng's dribbling is actually pretty good uh, but he has a slower release too um, they gave him that lockdown those those lock releases from the park or something man kind of sucks but um, he's got good dribble moves so he's not terrible he can cancel out of his shots just like T-Mac he has the same like uh, pro, pro 3 Hezzy he just like uh uh, when he cancels out of it, it you're used to T Mac. You're not gonna, you're not gonna do very good. Next up is Paul Gasol, and since he evils up to Opal, and he become he dribbles pretty decent. He, and his step back is amazing on that. The only problem is, is just like catch and shoot threes, man. I feel like I, the bar just gets stuck at the top, and like never, it doesn't really bounce off. It just kind of like it narrows out at the end, so that it's like impossible to see when it ends in greens. And so, yeah, you just end up with a lot of slightly earlies and slightly lates. And that's the only thing about this card. However, his defense in the post and being able to guard on the perimeter is elite. He has Hall of Fame range extender, so, you know, you can hit those every once in a while. He's, he's great post fade hook. Dude, yeah, I, I love the Opal card of this. And just buy the Pink Diamond and Evo. It's actually an easy Evo. It's like a thousand points and 500 rebounds for an Opal. That that's that's insane to me. And uh, yeah, we got we got too many centers up here, man. We got to stick Leitner down here, down one level. Uh, Anthony Davis, go boo boo. See you later, buddy. Um, Lonzo Morning can go down. And there we go. Now we have it. All right, cool. Um, next up, we got Nicholas Batum, and he is S tier all the way, baby. I mean, I like him. I like him better than uh, T and dude for five KMT, bro. Like, I like him better than Brandon Roy. I like him better than Tracy McGrady. He, dude, he's actually a better dribbler than both of them. He has a better behind the back. He has a better between. Like, dude, dude I, I can't even imagine that I'm about to do this, but like. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to shake some people down some tears here and yeah, you know, Miles Bridges You go down. I mean dude. Yeah, it's just Miles Bridges is gold badges. I mean, he's good buddy Hill's going down one uh, we got to make room down here on the uh, a tier for Tracy McGrady and Brandon Roy Dude just I think Michael, uh, so Michael Red is the most elite two with Pro 5 Hezzy. Nicholas Batum, the most elite 100K and under with Pro 3 Hezzy. Dude, like it, it, the, the behind the back, having the magic behind the back, the Jordan between the legs. Like, dude, yeah, I mean, like that shit is insane, bro. Uh, John Morant. No, dude, I, I said B tier, ho. All right, John Moran is B tier, and uh, dude, he's so good on offense, man. He's like the Cam Reddish and Paul George all wrapped into one. I mean, he's basically the same car, and you can have all three of those dudes with the same animations out there. Look, this is what I'm gonna do. I I'm, I, I think his defense might be a little bit better than Pete Maravich, and he's a better dunker, and like he's just fun to use. I'm putting him on A tier, but like. It, He's fat. He feels a little slightly faster than Pete, but like, man, I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. It's just for it. it he's tough to find as a buy now, now too. He's so rare. 
Um, but and that's the thing is like you pay 100k MT for this card, and you don't get the defense. Like defense, you need defense in this game. Like defense wins these games. Um, I mean, don't act like you don't off ball sometimes. Like sometimes you're getting off ball and you're getting trampled, and like you need cards on your squad that. You know, if that's what you have to go to to try to stop somebody, they can stop them. And like John Morant, Pete Maravich, not going to be able to do it, bro. They're just not going to be. Like Chris Paul will clamp your ass. And Chris Paul can shoot better than either one. Or just as good as Pete, but better than John Morant. John Morant is elite at going to the rim. Uh, I, I just feel like he's kind of a, you know, he's kind of a liability on defense for 100 KMT. Like if you're going to spend 100 KMT, you can go get yourself Opal Chauncey or some galaxy opal caruso uh yeah one of those dudes next up is the pink diamond tyler hero and uh, i really like this card um he to me he, he just like he plays he plays really good defense um his, his release is just like he, he's such a streaky shooter like it's like in real life almost man like we've seen great games and then we've seen him you know have struggle and that's kind of how I feel with his release. And that's why I'm putting him there. Lance Stevenson, Pink Diamond, is S tier, dude. Like, hey, shit. Man, I don't know why we sleep on this card so much. Probably because it's pink and not opal. But it's still, you know, 80 to 100K. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's really good. It's way better than the Amethyst. Don't, don't let anybody tell you differently. Uh, pink Diamond Danilo Gallinari is basically Pink Diamond Larry Bird with a better release. More Hall of Fame badges. And uh, yeah, dude, up here, big time S tier. Uh, dude's a great player, man. He's, a, you know, great player, great player. Next up is uh, Pink Diamond Justice Winslow, and this, I don't know, man. Like, he's kind of, he's kind of like Tyler Hero to me, where he's he's kind of inconsistent. He's kind of inconsistent for me. I do, I I do like him because you can run him at the small fort and the point guard. And he's good at both positions. Like, he, he really is good at both positions. Um, and, I mean, maybe. Look, I don't mind doing that. And, and putting him on A tier. I mean, he, he's a good point guard. He is a good point guard. But, like, dude, he's not as good as Isaac Bonga. <laughs> or Lance Stevenson. So, yeah, he can't go up there in the top. We have way too many centers in the top tier up here as well. But, yeah, okay. Anyway. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr., he's a nice-ass guard, man. Uh, th this is why John Morant is here. Because this guy is basically the same card as this guy. Uh, uh, better on defense. Like, Dennis Smith Jr. is a better card than John Morant. Which is crazy. And not really. I mean, John Morant, I like John Morant's release better. But Dennis Smith Jr.'s got a good release. And, like, he, he does everything... It, I mean, he dunks as well as he does. He, sh you know, he shoots from limitless. He has Hall of Fame range center, but he has he has better defense. This is just a fact. Lonnie Walker V, dude, he, dude, like all these cards are good. Don't get me wrong. So all these cards are good. Lonnie Walker V has Thon Maker's animations, <laughs> Michael Jordan animations, um, the exact same animations as Michael Jordan. They also give him his ability to bully and like, dude, bump seals. Hit the ball on passes, like, you know, dude, just like he gets hot like Jordan does. Like, his takeover is amazing. And yeah, just un incredible. He's, a, you know, lower tier card down here. Um, that's why I'm putting him in this uh, C tier. But, yeah, dude, like, next, next up is OG Ananobi. Like, see, this is why I, I hate, like, dude, doing this is like, damn, it's so hard. OG Ananobi is better than Sharif Abdurrahim, dude. He's one of the best defenders <laughs> at the rim, too, even. His release is similarly not as great as most. Um, it's not slow. It's just not. It's not. I don't like it. Uh, it's kind of like Sharif. I don't really like his release. So I'm moving him down here on this tier. OG, dude, yeah, for 10 to 20K, like, every day, why not? Next up is Galaxy Opal Chauncey Billups. And, uh... I put him on A tier, man, and uh, it, he got upgrades on his finishing. Uh, he got Hall of Fame Slither. Oh my goodness! So yeah, next up we have Big Country Bryant Reeves, and man, he's good. He's good, man. He's a good card. 
I like him. I like his post fades elite, but yeah. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. Another card, dude, that like elite shooter at the two. Uh, he's he's a pretty good defender too, and he goes to the rim well, I think. But like, all right, so we've got our list here. We've stuck Brent Berry up here apparently. Uh, next up is Mikel Bridges, and dude, like uh, my favorite defender on here did like interceptions he doesn't miss on catch and shoot threes and he's an elite dunker uh as well he's on these two dudes levels on defense like it might not appear but like he just has the animations to contest shots and block them at the rim he's like dude one of the best interceptors in the game i love that card i love his three ball i love everything about him uh next up we have oh, we already did draymond green why is there two of them up there did we already do Draymond? Yeah, we did. Next up, we got Pink or Galaxy Opal Trey Young. And Galaxy Opal Trey Young, dude, and he's so good in real life, man. And, like, his defense does suck in real life because the Hawks never freaking win. Uh, but, like, this is a fantasy mode. Let's give some fantasy cards going here, man. Trey Young with some freaking Hall of Fame Intimidator and Clamps. And actually pack some muscle on that dude, man. Like, there's just too many good cards, free cards in the game to go grind two hours for. Um, and it, just 100 k for him now. Same goes for my thoughts on Alex Caruso. Elite dunker, finisher, good dribbling. Uh, if you like his release, good shooting. Unfortunately, man, like they nerfed this card. They gave him a 31 or 37 in tier defense. And so a bigger point guard that you showed jacked on his picture can't actually guard the bigger point guards if they try to do their little cheese stuff to you. Next up is Pink Diamond Chris Webber. And uh, I like this card, man. He's a great playmaker at the five. There are several of those, though, now is the only problem. But, like, dude, he gets it done, and, yeah, that's where, where I would go with him. Um, he's a good dunker. He's a good rebounder and plays good defense. So, like, dude, I mean, there was a time from, like, 1999 and 2002 where uh, he, I mean, he could have been, like, the best player in the game. I mean, obviously, Shaq was winning titles with Kobe and all that good stuff, but like Chris Webber, dude, was taking the Kings to, to meet the, him and Kobe in the Western Conference Finals there, and you know, at one time, so they, you know, they pretty much got screwed out of it. They actually won the game. The refs freaking rigged the game, but anyway, that's another story. Rick Smith's the mullet man is elite, dude. Best big man release in the game. He's great. Amazing in the post on offense and defense. He's obviously going to be a good rebounder as well, and he doesn't feel slow for, you know, his speed not being that high. Next up, we have Pink Diamond John Wall. And, dude, I love this card, man. I, I mean, his release, dude, I used it in park last year. So, uh, I might be partial to this. But, dude, no one dunks like John Wall. He's got good handles. The Pro 3, he can cancel shots into or cancel into shots out of it easy. Um, he, he's strong on defense, man. And, uh, you know, I don't think he has, like, the Hall of Fame Intimidator or whatever. But, like, dude, it's John Wall, man. He gets it done. Uh, next up is Russell Westbrook pink diamond and uh dude he's still a great point guard in this game like the I, if you play triple threat just go by that diamond one because it's actually a little bit better um but dude this is a good card like i've lit up dude, you can light up those big point guards with this card like you can light up i mean dude it, he he's just stop and goes so well like whether it's coming out of a hezzy he explodes whether it's going to you know or just completely slamming on the brakes and you know popping it from limitless dude and his range is elite for a point guard dude it, i mean it is deep next up is the pink diamond spencer dinwiddie and dude i like this card but you gotta have some people down here on the bottom and guess what man for 50, 40 50 kmt just not worth it grayson allen the cold zones the cold zones the cold zones but dude I, i've dropped so many 30 40 point games in unlimited with this card um, he, he has the cold zones, but he, he feels like Pink Diamond D. Wade to me um, with Hall of Fame range extenders. So uh, his release, not quite as fast, but, but pretty similar, on a similar pace. He can peekaboo well. Um, he, he's a great dribbler and a great dunker. Oh, my God, he posters folks so hard. And, and he actually, you know, can block shots at the rim just like D. Wade does. He chases them down. He just gets off the ground. He's a very good vertical. Uh, that's why I like him. Next up is the Amethyst Mo Bamba. And obviously, dude, you get back down punishered. I've heard that the other day, but it's, and I told the dude, I was like, all right, man, 
You go play 10 games of limited with him and tell me how many dudes actually try to back down punish you when you got Mo Bamba. He's got a 7 foot 9 wingspan. He has 90 something speed and lateral quickness. Uh, he's your best chance at guarding Thon Maker. I got guarded by him in triple threat yesterday and when he got his big hands on the ball and knocked it out and then contested a shot, I got a snowflake and I couldn't do shit. And uh, yeah, and I love that card. I mean, he's, he's on my team. Next up is Marvin Bagley and he's just a little bit weak on defense, man. And he, he's missing the range extender. Like, God, they should just give this card range extender and he would, you know, he'd be there. But uh, he's going on B tier now, man. And I hate to say that too because Marvin Bagley was one of my favorite cards last year. But this year, dude, it just... It, it just, it just didn't click. And then lastly, we got LaMarcus Aldridge. And still to this day, man, LaMarcus Aldridge, basically similar to Rick Smith's. They're the two best big man releases in the game. However, Marcus Aldridge has Hall of Fame Ranger Center and is also one of the best rebounders in the game. Will out-rebound Giants. I got to put him here, dude. And, like, obviously, there are people that will blow by him, but, like, not very many, dude. Like, you don't see... Uh, like say Hall, Dwight Howard has Hall of Fame quick first step you don't see people catching it at the three point line and freaking spinning out of the triple threat position like it just doesn't happen in this game and even though people try to to pretend that that's what they be doing to people every game it just doesn't happen but anyway that is the list for today you see our S tier is 400 KMT cards Bam Adebayo, Greg Oden, Manu Bowl, Isaac Bonga Michael Red, Dino Raja, Dennis Rodman Mikael Bridges, Lou Aldang Opal Paul Gasol, but you gotta buy the pink diamond. The opal is, you can get the opal for close to 100k, but, and if you can, do that. Just don't waste your time. Or, if you do have time and you're doing spotlights, then Evo it. Nicholas Batum, the best shooting guard under opal in the game, in my opinion. Uh, Lance Stevenson, he good. Danilo Gallinari, Chris Webber, Rick Smith, John Wall, Russell Westbrook, and Muhammad Bamba on the A tier, and, and remember we're calculating value into this, and I'm gonna pissed off, we got Tracy McGrady, but like, it's like the diamond is pretty much the same, there's Walter Davis, there's Brandon Roy, like, th these cards are replaceable, and then there's, uh, where's he at, Nicholas Batum, who's, <laughs> he's better, and Michael Red, who has a, a quicker release to there, and yeah, he, he actually feels like he can get to the rim better, because he has Pro 5 Hezzy, so he's going to create space to drive, where Pro 3 is more of a shooting one, Justice Winslow, um, he just missing something. Christian Leitner, Clay Thompson, uh, and, and Clay, man, Clay. I gotta put Clay up here on S, dude, because I feel like he, I feel like him and Mikel Bridges, like, dude, they're the they're the freaking pick sixes. They get interceptions on one end of the court, they chunk it up the court, and then they go stand in their spot and splash from the corner of the wing, and. Uh, yeah, I feel like those two guys are the best two at that. You know, maybe even in the game, man, because there's not really uh, any Opal 3 and D cones, man. Most of the Opals are freaking, like, dribble gods, like fucking Hedu and uh, AK-47 and uh, who else is there? James Worthy's even a pretty good. I mean, like, James Worthy's not, like, the spot-up dude. Like, he's going to bang it in the post and do all that. Uh, you got Ben Wallace, Iguodala, and... Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, Chauncey Billups, Tyler Hero, Tim Hardaway Jr., Grayson Allen, Marcus Aldridge. And uh, B tier is Magic. I mean, dude, Opal Magic would be way up there. But, like, we're, we're talking about this Pink Diamond Magic here who can't shoot for shit. Shaq, Aaron Gordon, who is weak post interior uh, or um, offense defense. Ralph Sampson, the slow guy. OJ Ananobi, probably a pretty high ranking for him for most of these lists. OG, though, feel, he feels a lead on defense to me. Um, I mean, fucking replaceable for one of these guys up here, for sure. But, like, for me, dude, I mean, I, I, yeah, just it, it's hard because, like, there's Cam Reddish and all those play the small forward. So, it, just, it, it makes it tough for some of these cards to even make it on anyone's team. Everybody uses the same players. Lamar Odom, still good. Still get the job done. Uh, pop threes, create space off dribbles help you get you know second chance points that's why i like him anthony davis dude i don't like anthony davis cards this year uh his release is kind of slow and uh just i mean like if you want somebody like this um uh, you know dude lamarcus aldridge is 7k and like it's gonna play very similar to him and then uh christian Leitner is gonna be better and then you also got ben wallace you got 
Jeremy Green, Chris Weber. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, this Anthony Davis' time has come and gone. Pete Maravich, elite peekaboo shooter, a limitless shooter. Uh, defense is suck ass. Same for John Morant, dude. Defense is terrible. I just got cooked up by Pink Diamond uh, Spotlight Sim historic Derrick Rose with him. And that was why he got moved down from S tier. He's like, one game I dropped 22 points in triple threat, which he might be a better triple threat player. But then I went and played in Unlimited. And it was like, yeah, you had like 11 points and uh, one rebound and two assists. And uh, your guy, fuck, Derek Rose, dropped 20. <laughs> Paul Pierce, he's just a good all around player. Brian Reeves, amazing post offense and good rebounder. You get them lobs and you get all kinds of stuff. Alex Caruso, uh, supposedly a bigger point guard, but, you know, his he, interior defense is 31, dude. I'm not, I'm not spending 100K. I, I'm spending 100k on Draymond or uh, Chauncey rather than him, just because like, dude, he's, I mean, th those guys can guard the big point guards down low. Marvin Bagley, just, I mean, he just like needed to be released a week later and got limitless. Like, dude, just a card like this with the step back. He has a huge step back. He creates so much space off his step back, off of his moving step back. Like, dude, like, why in the hell he doesn't have limitless range? I don't know, but you need it if you're your card is set up to do that and he's set up to do that dribble around create space for his own shots he's a shot creator and it's yeah no darren fox um uh, like i said under experienced with him desmond mason i hate his behind the back therefore he's not an elite shooting guard uh he he's basically brent barry um or he's not an elite point guard because he can't be point guard with that kind of behind the back so is that spencer dinwiddie i do not like his release although i have beaten glitched Giannis with him before I've also lost to freaking uh like diamond Steph Curry with him so hey yeah get out of here Alonzo Mourning at offense struggles Miles Bridges is great um but like I said I, I think his greatness will fade um is because well, his brother is better Lonnie Walker the fourth Lonnie Walker V is what I call him uh He's my secret weapon, bro. Don't be, don't be, don't be touching him. I got him down here on C tier because I don't want anybody messing with him. Uh, Sharif Abdurrahim, he's good all around, but like you know, there's there's better cards up here. Um, and his known for not dunking the ball hard, just barely touching the rim when he dunks, and they actually put that in this game. It's how accurate 2K20 is. Yeah. Okay. And Trey Young down here, 100K for uh, a guy who has like a 50 something shot contest. No, you know, no defense whatsoever. Gold clamps are with, you know, no strength and your little tiny build, dude. I mean, I love Trey Young in real life. But like I said, this game not it's not his game. You can be an elite shooter with him, but if you play somebody that's elite on defense, dude, they're just not gonna even put up with that shit. Uh, this Ben Simmons, he can't shoot, and you have a free reward Ben Simmons card. Do not waste your money upgrading with this one. Just inbounds the ball to him. That's been the tier list for today. The best cards under 100 KMT. This is Cards of Cruise. I hope you enjoy your week. Peace.